My name is Max Harris, and I'm going to teach you guys how to eat dinner. So, we've all eaten in public before, right? A family dinner, at least. My name is Max Harris, like I said, and I'm going to teach you how to survive any dinner event you might get yourself wrapped up in. Hopefully, you can take away three things from this speech. I want to tell you guys how to prepare for any dinner event, how to survive any dinner event, and how to be normal at any dinner event. The first step is dress code. What am I going to wear? That will be the first question you ask yourself. To understand, you need to find out what the event is. Obviously, if it's a wedding, if it's a business event, if it's a date, if you're meeting your parents, you know, it's, that's what it depends on. Uh, what I'm wearing, khakis and a button down, usually pretty good for a date or something like that. But if you're obviously a wedding or a business uh, conference, you're going to want something a little more formal. If you overdress, that's always okay. I promise you won't be the most overdressed in the room. Don't be afraid of that. And if you are, then I think that means you're the best dinner guest ever. So, now that you're out the door, when do you want to get there? I try to get there five to 10 minutes before the reservation or the start time. A good rule of thumb is 30 minutes before. You don't want to be there any longer than 30 minutes or else you'll be waiting and whatever. You don't want to get there late, definitely, that's the worst, because it's embarrassing for you to show up late and it can be seen as rude to the host or any other guests that showed up on time. So you're there, you're on time, and you're dressed properly. You look down and this is what you see. It might be confusing at first, but I promise it's not that bad. Once you get it, it's pretty easy to remember. At the top, we have the bread plate with a butter knife on top. To the left. You'll have a napkin, a salad fork, a dinner fork, and then the plate in the middle. You have your dinner knife to the right, soup spoon, and depending on the event or you know the restaurant, there may be a tablespoon there as well. Above that is the wine glass and the water glass. The dessert utensils are different depending on you know everything, the restaurant, the meal, whatever. They might set them up how they are on the screen, or they might bring them out when dessert is served. It really just depends. But they're easy to tell if they're on your table setup because they're always facing different directions and they're usually the smallest utensils. So a good first step when you sit down is take the napkin and put it in your lap. Great first step, classic. So first for the dinner is the appetizer. This is usually the first meal. Sometimes a restaurant will serve the salad before the appetizer, but they'll tell you if they're going to do something crazy like that. Between every meal, you need to wipe your mouth with the napkin. Use at your own discretion. Obviously, if you're messy, wipe more, but stay presentable throughout the whole dinner. You don't want a piece of food ruining your event. Next is the salad. This this part of the dinner it is okay to be picky. You don't need to finish your salad. Taking two to three bites of a salad isn't rude to anyone, I promise. <clears throat> no one's gonna force you to eat it. But always remember, wipe after you eat. Next is the soup. This is another easy part of the dinner. You don't need to eat very much of it. Your only job in the soup is to not spill. Spilling the soup is terrible. So don't do it. Don't forget, wipe after you're done. Now, the entree. If you're lucky, it'll be something good. <clears throat> don't fill up too much on any of the steps before this because this is when you need to be eating. Usually the entree is the longest part of the dinner and is when you eat the most. You want to wipe after every bite to stay presentable and you want to enjoy the food, really. That's what that step is about. Um, now, the moment we've all been waiting for. After the entree is the dessert. The hidden utensils that were hiding before have finally come out to play, and this is the yummiest part of the dinner, so it's exciting. Um, once you get through this, you're home free, and that's always exciting. So, now for some tips. Act normal. I can't overstate that enough. The point of the dinner is to get to know each other. If you're on a date, 
you're trying to get to know a potential relationship. If you're at a wedding, you're getting to meet your new in-laws. If you're at a business conference, you are meeting your business associates in a more casual way. So don't be afraid to talk. They're here or they're there to talk with you and listen to you. Eat at a normal pace, breathe and taste the food. The worst thing you can do is scarf all your food down as fast as possible. It's rude, it's unprofessional, all those things. Talk to people, don't be shy. Point of dinner is to have dinner, honestly. So don't chew with your mouth open. Obviously don't speak with your mouth full. Easy to remember, it's just gross and rude. I hope I could uh, teach you guys three things the preparation, the dinner, and how to act like a human in front of people. Um, yeah, thank you.